In this video, we're going to look at how we can simplify expressions, like this one here, which you might sometimes hear as collecting like terms. If you look at this expression, each of these highlighted parts is referred to as a term, because they're all separated by add or subtract signs. If you wanted to describe it, a term is just a collection of numbers and variables that are all being multiplied or divided together. And all I mean by variables are the symbols that we use to represent numbers, like a or b. So in our example, you could say that we have an a term, an a squared term, an a b term, a number term, another a term, and another number term. To simplify an expression like this, all you need to do is combine the like terms with like terms being those that have the same combination of variables. So here, these two a terms are like terms because they both have just an a variable. Whereas these two number terms are also like terms because they're both just numbers. Importantly though, this a squared term can't be combined with the a terms because its a is being squared. So it counts as an a squared term and not an a term. In order to combine like terms, all you have to do is add them together. But you do have to take into account the sign in front of them. So for the a terms, you have to do 4a plus minus 3a, because there's a minus sign in front of the 3a. And remember that this just means 4a take away 3a, so 1a which you actually write as just a. Meanwhile, for the number terms, you have to do minus 4 plus 7, which is plus 3. Then, once you've combined all of the like terms like this, you need to add the terms that couldn't be combined. So, as well as the plus 3, we also add the 2a squared and the 5ab. And remember, with algebra, it doesn't matter which order you put them in. So you could have written it as 2a squared plus 3 plus 5ab plus a, or any other combination that you could think of, as long as you have these four terms being added together. Let's try the same thing for these two questions. In this first one, we've got 3x plus 2 minus 3x plus 6. So we've got two x terms and two number terms. You can start with either, but if we start with the x terms, then you do 3x minus 3x, which is 0, so the x's actually cancel out. And then for the numbers, you do 2 plus 6, which is 8. So the overall answer is just 8. For this next one, we've got 3x terms and 2y terms. So starting with the x's again, you would do 2x minus 4x plus 7x which is 5x. And then for the y's, you have to do 3y minus 4y, which is minus 1y, or just minus y. So your overall answer would be 5x minus y. So for this last question, we've got two a terms, two number terms, and a b term. So you can combine the a's, by doing 5a minus 8a, which is minus 3a. Combine the numbers by doing minus 4 plus 5, so plus 1. And there's just one b term, so we can tag on the plus 6b, giving us minus 3a plus 6b plus 1 as our final answer. Anyway, that's everything for this video. So, hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching.